Today we are going to take the Yezu FT818, the Doomsday Radio, and connect it up to the XPA125B amplifier from Zygu using the CN20. If it's Zygu, you know it does the thing, but doesn't do it the way it's advertised that it's supposed to do. I'll show you, let's take a look. First things first, the XPA125B has a tuner built in, so I need to remove this tuner. Okay, that's out of the way for now. And this is the CN20, which enables you to connect to the FT817 or the FT818. And then the CI5 cable goes in here and the accessory cable goes to the amplifier. The CN20 comes with the cable that goes to the radio. So we plug that into the part that says to radio. And then on the back, we plug it into the accessory port on the radio itself. So fairly straightforward there. The amplifier comes with this six pin mini DIN, basically it's a PS2 cable. Uh, and that goes into this port that says it goes to the XPA125B because that is indeed where it goes to. Nothing comes with this audio cable and it's not technically necessary, but we're gonna use it anyway because I've got a couple of cheap audio cables laying around and that's the connections on the radio side of things. Let's get the connections, well, you still need to connect the coax, but you'll see when we come up. Let's get the amplifier over here and we'll do the same thing with the amplifier. All right, this is a longtime friend of the channel. This is the XPA125B amplifier. I've connected this up to a bunch of different radios. This will be the 818's turn. So again, we have the CN20 adapter. On the back of the XPA125B, there's a couple of connections. So we have the comm connection right here that we plug that audio cable into and we have the accessory connection right next to it that the ps2 cable goes into fairly straightforward stuff and then antenna and transmitter so this would go to my dx commander antenna and this would go to the ft818 all right this is where it gets interesting on the xpa 125b it's supposed to be able to have a manual or an auto mode and the cn20 device our little friend right here it lights up when it's all plugged in properly you can see the the lights in there is supposed to be able to handle the automatic band switching. Let's put it into auto mode. You long press the band button to make that happen. And I'm gonna change bands. I'm gonna go all the way down to 160 meters. I'm gonna turn the volume down so we don't need volume here. You can see it tracked down to 160, no problem. Let's track up. So that's 80, no problem. That's 60, no problem. That is a weird band that we're not interested in as ham radio operators. That is 40, it still says 60. 30, still says 60. 20, says 40 now. And then we switch to 17, it says 30, et cetera, et cetera. It doesn't, it doesn't track right anymore after that. Like this is six meters and it's showing 15 meters. There may or may not be a firmware upgrade on the CN20. And I've reached out to Zygu and I'm waiting for an answer on that. Here is the part we've all been waiting for. We are on 160 band in CW mode and we are on 160 in manual mode on the bottom. We turn the antenna tuner off because I'm using a dummy load and I have the amplifier off. Right below the signal strength meter, there is an indicator. Well, in this case, there's no indicator. The lack of the indicator means six watts output. So let's take a look down here. 5.6, 5.7, okay. I'm gonna change the power to our next lowest setting. 4.6, 2.1, 0.7, .1, and then we're back to full power, which is 5.6, 5.7 range. Okay, now let's turn the amplifier on. The amplifier and the radio are supposed to communicate with each other through ALC. We are in the high power mode. And you can see that we're starting to ramp up power and we're putting out 100 watts into our dummy load. Fantastic. Now, if I change the power settings on the 818 to its next lowest power, we are 3.7 and we're hitting 100. You can see it back down in power a little bit. 2.0, 90 watts, 0 0.6, 73 watts. So fantastically efficient. And you can see that it's doing a little bit of control work on the ALC to make sure that the radio doesn't overdrive the amplifier. So 3.6 in, 100 out, even though the radio is putting out 5.7 without the amp on. So the built-in ALC feedback circuit is working fantastically and we're getting 100 watts out. Let's go from 160 to 80. And we switch this to 7580 using the band button here. 
and 86 watts out. Not bad. Let's go to 40 meters, 76 watts out, 30 meters, 84 watts out, 20 meters, 91 watts out, 17 meters, 97 watts out, 15 meters. I saw 93 on the peak. We'll give it 91. 12 meters. I saw 105 on the peak there. 99, 10 meters, 77. Fantastic. It is always a wild ride with Zygu products. The CN20 is no different. It does work. It does put out fantastic output power. It does control the ALC back and forth between the amplifier and the radio to make sure you're not overdriving the amp. All in all, I'd give it a B plus, I guess. I wish that it was a little more compact or a little more user-friendly, like maybe if this thing plugged directly into the back of the amplifier and then you had one cable that went out to the radio, that would be good. I just want to get out and make some contacts at 100 watts on my doomsday radio. So this has been not a bad experience with a Saigu product, but it, just a typical experience with a Saigu product. <sighs> There's a link in the description down below where you can find the CN20. And then there is a, another video over here I think you might enjoy next. Thanks for being awesome. I'll see you over there.